Hey Tuck followers, Keith here. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Birch Mattress. Now the Birch Mattress is Helix Mattress's organic, eco-friendly option. It's a latex hybrid bed, but is it the right bed for you? Keep watching to find out. Our mattress testing team today includes lightweight sleeper Sid, average weight sleeper Athena, and heavyweight sleeper Alandris. To unbox the Birch mattress, grab a friend and move it to its intended destination. Remove the roll packed mattress from the box, put it on its frame, and remove the plastic. Give it about 24 hours to fully recover. The Birch is an 11 inch latex hybrid mattress. The cover is made from 100% organic cotton. The comfort layers include a half inch of Birch wool on top of two inches of natural Talale latex. The support core is composed of eight inches of individually pocketed coils on top of a half inch base layer of wool. The Birch falls at about a six and a half out of 10 on the firmness scale, making it a medium firm mattress. The Birch has a bouncy, very responsive feel. A lot of hybrids get kind of an in-between feel like you're sleeping in and on the bed, so a mix of the two. This feels a lot more like an inner spring bed where you'll sleep on the mattress. To measure support, we look at the spinal alignment of each of our sleepers when sleeping on their side. All three of our sleepers received adequate support from the Birch mattress. And our average weight sleeper received a bit more. To illustrate motion isolation, we put a water glass on one side of the mattress and have a Landris move around the opposite side. As you can see, when a Landris moves around the mattress, that water glass is definitely moving. As mentioned before, the Birch has a bouncy feeling to it, so it does not do a great job of isolating motion. You will get that trampoline effect and feel movement on both sides of the bed. Next, we'll look at edge support. Edge support refers to how much a mattress pushes back and holds the sleeper up when sitting on and sleeping close to the edge. As you can see, there's some sinkage when all three of our sleepers sit on the edge of the Birch mattress but those lower gauge coils around the perimeter really help. When sleeping close to the edge, all three of our sleepers felt stable and experienced no feeling of roll off. Using our 2D and 3D pressure mapping tools, we're able to tell how much pressure the Birch mattress relieves from a sleeper's body. All three of our sleepers received adequate pressure relief from the Birch mattress you will notice a little bit of pressure on the shoulder area of all three of our sleepers when sleeping on their side. And our lightweight sleeper had some pressure on the hips and shoulders, but that's exacerbated by a sharp frame and shouldn't be attributed to the mattress. Next, we'll take a look at temperature neutrality. The composition of this mattress with the Talalay latex and the wool mixed with the pocketed coil support core gives a lot of opportunity for wicking and airflow and should keep a sleeper temperature neutral throughout the night. Now, let's take a minute to check in with our sleepers. So Athena, what did you think of the Birch? I really love this one. This oh, one's yeah? pretty great, yeah, I'm pretty Tell impressed Tell me why. Um, I used to be a stomach sleeper and I really miss it. And this was just like, every time I got to position on my stomach, I'm like, oh, I missed you so much. Well, it's a little spongy and uh, for every one move I gave, I felt like I got two back. So it's like a trampoline effect. Exactly, exactly. I think it's a fairly good mattress. I like it for its firmness. It's a little bouncy though. Did you prefer side, back, or stomach sleeping on this mattress? Side sleeping mostly. It's firm enough. It also adjusts to my body contours. And I don't feel it being shaky or anything. 
Now, sleeping close and sitting on the edge. Did you feel supported or like you might roll off? No, I felt supported. If anything, it's a bit uh, concave, so it kind of scoops me in, which I like. The edge is quite well, I think, done. When I'm sleeping on the, on the edge, I don't feel like I'm going to fall out or anything. I did feel supported. I did. Good. I like the thickness of it. I like the coming off of a thick, high mattress first thing in the morning. And then what about temperature neutrality? Did this trap any heat throughout the night or did it stay fairly temperature neutral? I would say neutral. It was super neutral. I run hot and it was fine. Now, how about motion isolation? Did this thing perform well or did, was it? It was borderline. Honestly, I pulled back a little because I didn't want to make a mess on the bed. <laughs> but had I really applied pressure fully, mm -hmm. I could have tilted the glass over. Well, I really enjoy the bounce and the size. It actually feels bigger than it is. It's just really all encompassing. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Now let's take a look at how the Birch mattress stacked up in our mattress tests. This bed has a bouncy, responsive feel, so it's a little bit more like a traditional inner spring than a hybrid bed. Support was good for light and heavyweight sleepers and very good for average weight sleepers. Motion isolation was fair and edge support was very good. Pressure relief was good for all three sleeper weights and temperature neutrality was very good. Here are a couple takeaways based on our mattress testing. This mattress comes in one firmness option. So if you know you want a particularly firm or particularly soft bed, this might not be the best pick for you. The Birch is a bouncy bed, which can be great for some, and it actually did perform better in our motion isolation test than we thought. But if you don't like that feel, this probably isn't your best bed. If you like a traditional memory foam mattress, so something that's really conforming, you're not gonna get that with the Birch. You very much sleep on versus in this mattress. Here are a few recommendations based on our mattress testing. The Birch is a great option for eco-conscious shoppers who are on a bit more of a budget. It's by no means a cheaper bed, but for this category, it's a great price. Hot sleepers will appreciate the build of this bed and how temperature neutral it stays throughout the night. Sleepers who have a hard time getting in and out of bed will appreciate the build on the Birch. Between the bounciness and the edge support, it should really solve that problem for you. Average and heavyweight sleepers will find the support they need with this mattress. Here's some additional information you'll want to know before purchasing the Birch mattress. It comes with a 100 night sleep trial, ships free, and comes with a 25 year warranty. For up-to-date pricing and exclusive discounts for Tuck followers, check the description below the video or visit the full written review at tuck.com. That's it for our Birch Mattress Review. Please give us a like and subscribe to our channel if you found this helpful. If you have any questions about the mattress or you want a personalized recommendation, drop a comment below the video. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. Don't forget to check us out on social. We're always doing great giveaways and we've got the latest and greatest in sleep news. Sleep well.